Hey everyone, it's time for another Adobe Drawing Session with Express. So let's get started. Today, we're going to draw a gingerbread house. We'll start by selecting this pink color here, and then we'll open our custom colors and make it much lighter, all the way up there. I'll make our brush, the hard round brush, really, really big and simply paint across the entire canvas to fill it in. Next, I'm going to use this green color here, make my brush smaller, and paint along the bottom like this. And what we're basically creating is a little ground for our gingerbread house to sit on. Select the orange, open up your color picker again, and we're going to make it darker and just a little bit more yellow. With our basic brushes, we can view more of them. And I want to use this square. I'm going to make it about 700 or 800. And we'll just tap down here towards the middle of the screen and a little bit further down than the middle, vertically speaking, like that. I'll change to the triangle brush. And we're going to make that as big as it could possibly be. And here near the top of the square and right in the center, we'll just tap. That's given us a roof. And we also have these bits sticking out here. Now it's time to do some decoration. I'm going to use white and select this dotted line brush. I'm going to keep that brush pretty small and then draw along my roof. Don't worry if your lines aren't perfectly straight, it's fine. I'll do the same thing over here and on this side as well. For the door, I'm going to use orange. And we'll go back to the hard round brush. We'll make it about 200 or so. And I'm going to start over here towards the bottom right, just below where the roof line is and draw down past the bottom of the house like that. That gives me a nice rounded door. Now don't worry about the fact that the door is now outside of the boundaries of the house. We'll take care of that later. Now for some more decorations and details. Returning to that square brush, I'll make it a lot smaller. And now I'm going to make a couple of windows. For my color, I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to select the brown and then make it darker like this. I'm going to make two windows here, one and two. If you want them to be rectangles, all you have to do is return to this brown color by using your eyedropper tool. We'll make our brush a little smaller and simply draw over the edges to change the shape. Up here, we could put a circular window. Go back to the hard round brush. And once again, I can use the eyedropper to select that same dark brown color we had before. Make my brush a little smaller and just tap right there. For your gingerbread house, you can put windows anywhere you like. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I think I'll add one more right there. I'll go back to that square brush. That looks pretty good. Here's something fun you can try. Let's use the hard round brush, make it a bit bigger, and just tap at the top of our roof. And now we'll use this multicolor brush, the Asterix and tap right in the center of that circle. That makes a nice sort of peppermint design. If you like that, you can try it in other parts of the house as well. You can also experiment with some of the other multicolor brushes. Maybe a brush like this Rainbow Chew. Maybe you could do a little design like this over each of the windows, and one like this over the top window. I may as well try this on the bottom as well. 
Maybe a white border around the windows will look good. Let's see what other brushes we can use. Maybe a dashed line. We'll use white and we'll just move around this window and this one and this one. I'll do the circular window too. And for the door, I'll use the dotted line and just make it a little smaller. You can use smaller dots next to bigger dots. I think that looks extra fancy. I'll use my hard round brush to just draw a little circular window on the door. I can do that by tapping on the orange with our color picker and making it a little darker. And let's give ourselves a door handle. We'll just make that brush smaller and tap right there. Remember how I said we were going to work down here to fix the area where the door comes outside of the house? Let's do that now. First, we're going to use a multicolor brush called Leafy. And we're just going to draw some bushes over here on both sides. And now we're going to make a whole field of flowers in front of the house. To do that, we're going to use another multicolor brush right here, Rainbow Syrah. Just paint right up against the edge of the house and over the bushes like this. And when you get down to about here, make the brush bigger and then continue to paint. This makes the flowers bigger as they get closer to you, which is how they would look in the real world. The last thing I think we need are some clouds. Let's use the soft round brush, make it big, and just use white. And we'll paint some cloud shapes. There's your gingerbread house. Remember, yours doesn't have to look just like mine. You can decorate it a lot more if you want with different colors and different patterns using all kinds of different brushes. If you feel like drawing a tree, in the background, or maybe a gingerbread man or a gingerbread woman, go for it. It's your drawing. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you again next time for more Adobe Express Drawing.